So there are pathways in your body controlled by your genes that turn different enzymes on and off. And they control all of your homeostasis. So sirtuins, I mean, it's it's really silly. They're, they're histone uh, deacetylases. I mean, it doesn't seem like they would do much. They take, li- they, they take acetyl groups off of lysines. I mean, that's it. It doesn't sound very fancy. But they're sort of all over your cells and they turn, they, they're basically, they directionalize which way your cells are going. Um, so sirtuin one, uh, again, I, I, I love the word cellular homeostasis because this is what you lose over the course of time and they control it. They control your circadian rhythms. You know, we always hear that people as they get older can't sleep at night. Well, your sirtuins are deficient. You fix your sirtuins, you're going to go to sleep. That That's a no brainer. It controls your oxidative stress. It controls where your fat gets deposited. You know, as you get older, people say, you know, I exercise the same, I eat the same. Why is, why am I fat around the middle? Well, you're sirtuin deficient. Um, mm-hmm. So, so one is the mastermind of all of your cells um, within. So one, six and seven live in your nucleus, uh, three, four and five live in your mitochondria Two sort of flits around your cell. Um, six is really interesting because six controls all of your uh, DNA for the most part. It controls if it's heterochromidin or euchromidin, meaning like all sort of like Euchromidin is, well, it's hard to describe. If it's all mushed up versus kind of spread out, it's, your DNA sort of spreads out and gets mucked up after a course of time. But you want it nice and organized, and that's controlled by um, by CERT-6. All your DNA repair mechanisms are controlled by CERT-6 uh, in conjunction with CERT-1, but 6 is incredibly important. Uh, and then CERT-3 is the mastermind of your mitochondria. So if you are CERT-3 deficient, uh, your, your your energy levels are going to plummet. So it's all sort of correlated. So you, you sort of focus on the sirtuins. What do the sirtuins need? Once everything's turned on, then you got to fix everything else. So it's it's all very sort of um, uh, interlinked. They all overlap. Like I like to divide things into seven piles, but in reality, they're all sort of crisscrossing and, and very interrelated. These are like the grandmasters, right? They must say, this is what we're going to do, right? That being said, if, if, if what... If, if you don't have the ability to do it, then it doesn't matter what the grandmaster says, right? On the other hand, like, so everything has to sort of be in its place, right? Like if you activate your SIR2 and 3 to say, okay, now our, our mitochondria are going to be optimized, your mitochondria will be like, well, you know what? We're nicotinamide deficient. I can't do this. Quite mm-hmm. sorry, right? Or yeah, our mitochondria are like, okay, we're turned on, but we're making far too many free radicals. So we just blew ourselves up. Well, that's not good either. So it all sort of works in conjunction. Um, and I and I am being sirtuin obsessive because I was just trying to find ways to maximize sirtuin three and six. And I'm very excited because I discovered that fucodan, which is a um, a long molecule that you find in seaweed, is extremely good at activating sirt six. I'm like, oh, that's fantastic! And it does a variety of things, other things as well. But I'm like, oh my god! So now I'm like a seaweed addict. Um, that'll pass. Uh, until next week, because now I'm working on heat shock proteins and then I'll be obsessed with like whatever that one is and it'll just get thrown on the pile. Um, but it's just, it's just very important that we address sort of all of these issues, but yes, cellular homeostasis or the control of cellular homeostasis as the master regulators essential.